So stick with me here on pluralistic contexts because whether we're teaching in a pluralistic context or we've got kids in our, in our youth group who go to a public school or right. whatever it is, right? We're, we're all swimming, just about all of us are swimming not just exclusively in Christian, in Christian contexts. When I, when I read um, your work with my students, which I do, especially in my first year seminar, um, many of them react thinking, uh, oh, like we buy this anthropology. We buy this account of what it is to be a human being. Um, we're not just thinking things, we're desiring animals, liturgy of the mall, my goodness, um, I'm already being formed. I should be more intentional about uh, how my desires are being formed and maybe even the core, that should be what the rest of my education is about. Now, when Smith goes on and he prattles on about Eucharist and <laughs> baptism and these sorts of this, I mean, yeah. we might as well be talking about unicorns and, you know, it's, it's just, it's just completely foreign right. to my experience right. and, sure. that my students say, say, sure. and, and they, and they say like, so they sort of want to know, like, is that, is that okay? <laughs> um, and it does seem like maybe this is not just your problem. Maybe it's Augustine's problem or advantage, or it's a feature of this anthropology. It seems to sort of travel well yeah, yeah. beyond its sort of Christian particularity. Is that a strength of, of the position? Is that a sort of weakness? Like help, help me think uh, about no, that. No, I, I love it. I, I, I hope it's a strength because it means it's true. <laughs> you know, like mm. the, um, yeah, so that, that's really interesting to me. And I, I, I can see how, um, yeah, there are, there, there's ways in which the, anthrop the formal anthropological description, human beings are desiring creatures, liturgical animals, narrative uh, uh, hunger agents. Uh, um, you could, in a sense, get that and agree with that and then not necessarily make the last move to say, and therefore, this is how you should be rightly ordered. Um, I, I do think, and, and, and my stream of the Christian tradition would not even be surprised by that, I would say, because mm -hmm. the hope is, oh, well, yeah, we're getting at something about all human beings. This, is, this, is, um, this isn't just some, some theological claim that we're overlaying on top of just some mere biological substrate. We're trying, like, this works, and that's, that's a really encouraging confirmation. So then at that point, I'd be happy if all the students who, who grapple with it on that register are then at least left with the question, which liturgies are good for me, right? Or which, which, which community of practice am I gonna mm -hmm. center myself in? Or, or if, if it does seem so clear that the liturgies of consumerism are disordering and you know, are eating up the world and eating up ourselves, on what basis can I say that? What are my criteria? What are the norms that I'm, that I'm looking for? I, I would be thrilled if, um, you know, I was sort of a gateway drug to those questions. Uh, even if I would hope to then at some point be able to sort of pitch the case mm -hmm. for why I think um, Christianity gets at something also mm -hmm. true about human beings. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that, that would be like a separate con conversation. It, it's interesting, you know, I, I, one of the things that has most humbled me uh, in, um, aside from what you just told me about using the book, was I have had so many Jewish readers write to me. Mm -hmm. And have even, I had a rabbi from D.C. who preached a Yom Kippur sermon, uh, uh, um, meditation based on desiring the kingdom, and I thought, that is so cool because it's it's saying we're getting at something that's human, and yeah. and I'm I'm all for that. I don't. Uh, uh, at, at the end of the day, I think salvation is learning how to be human again, and so that there's that overlap is really encouraging to me, actually.